Uh, this flog, right? This flog. Right. right. As opposed to that one, which mm. was shut down. <laughs> good evening, Viewfort. Hi, good evening, Mr. Samuel. Good evening, Mr. Sifle. Yeah. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Mr. Sifle, first of all, you look high. Most of the things you say and the gesticulation of your hands and stuff like that, as a media personality... Hello, call her, call her, get to the no, point. No, let that one, let that one see what he's saying. I didn't hear that one saying. Call her, call her, let's not do this. Let's not do... You look like you're on drugs. Let's oh, not do that. Let's not do that. Let the man talk, Gasser. I want to hear what that one's saying. Oh, come on Let's now. Let's not do that, you know. Um, being high and all that. This is not the no, place No, the man has a right to his opinion if he thinks that... that he has know, a right to his opinion. Everybody knows that I'm a marijuana smoker. Everybody knows that I'm, I'm a, sort of a theatrical person when you put me in the right situation. And apparently this guy has a... He sounded like he maybe had some, some, something else he wanted to say. So I wanted him to finish all that stuff about being high. So he could get into what he wanted to really say. My training. There's something else and it's he something, wanted to say. It's something, you know? that, it's something that I've articulated before. It's something I said stand that by, stand touched by, him. Stand by. My training, the way we were trained, we were taught to protect our guests. This is not a show. And a show should never be about listeners calling and attacking, attacking, demeriting um, people on the show. This is not what it's all about. If you want to do it elsewhere, that's fine. I will not allow it. And frankly, I don't give a hoot what you think or what you say. But it will not be allowed on this program. Good evening. Thank you very much for calling. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, good evening. I'm fine. Good. Good night, Mr. Sisley. How are you Listen, I just don't know what is happening to our, our country. There are so many issues we have to deal with, and they deal with all other things that doesn't make any sense to me. Attack people, attack people, um, personality, and all kind of thing. We have so many issues. We have young children committing suicide. We have so many other issues. We need people need jobs. The young children live in our young children live in schools. We have no jobs for them. Nobody is coming forward and saying how are we going to put our country up so our children will get jobs. Okay, it's just about this person and that person, this and that person, that and that. I'm just all sick and tired of this nonsense. You know the why you do that? We are disappointed in them. Then we look up to the media workers to feed us with news, not false news, but news that is true. And then they disappoint us because all of them are just a bunch of cowards. When you see they say they think, they, and the politicians call them and say, okay, I'm going to take you to court, everybody just shut their backsides. <laughs> no. We have to look up to the media because that's what we put on our radio on to listen to, even when we are at work, because we know what we want to know what's happening in our country. I don't listen to the United States news. I don't listen to Canada news. I don't. I want to hear the news that is happening because these are the. This is the place where I live, and I want to know what's happening in our country. And I have a. I have a strong, strong thing for our youth, our youth of today. Look now, children are committing suicide. What are we doing about that? It's just a lot of talk, 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 talk. When nothing happens, it's a lot of talk, 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 and nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. We vote a, ban a bunch of jackasses, and then it's shit alone they're doing. <laughs> All right, why do you think why do you think they do that when when there's an economy to fix? Why do you think they're they're so busy like suing people and character assassinating people? Let me tell you that. Why? It's because they have no respect for us that put them in there. So they feel they, you know, let me tell that. I, I waiting for them in the next election because politicians, they only need you when they need your vote. And then after that, when they sit in the hot seat, let me tell you that I have a problem with a politician, a man in power, when you want to see him on a, on a day he's seen the public and he would call his secretary and say, I can't come to office today. I have a two fake ID side that. You don't have no respect for the people that put you there. You're supposed to be looking forward to that day to come and listen to the people that put you there. They're supposed to be there more than one day. Exactly. So what? 
What? what? What is happening to our little country? What is happening? I want to know. What did we let happen to us, man? How did we get okay, here? Thank you. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll give the line to somebody else. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, appreciate it. And, and Jason, I, I, I know that you you wanted to take the caller on. They yeah, and I want, to, I want to encourage him but to you come have to, to, my, but you to, have come to my blog and comment. But you have to understand. Because I love this stuff. You have to. I know you do. Uh. But, you know, once you open the can of worms, the floodgates are open, and the, the show just goes off in all sorts of directions. And then this host... Oh, and next thing you know, it's a Facebook post. Lose, lose <laughs> control. Hi, Bexo. Good evening, Bexo. Thanks for calling. Good evening. Hi, how are you there? Not too bad, Mr. Sisley. I do your know. thing, say it like it is. Whether you're high or low, say it <laughs> like it is. Poor, poor. Suck it to them. Because <laughs> that's, uh, that caller from Beaufort Day, it's, uh, something went into him. You check it? Yeah. Something, something touched him. And now you have to go and smoke a joint. To cool yourself oh, yeah. out. He, he must oh. do that, don't I? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. Please. I'm sorry for advertising please. marijuana on your program. Please, I, please. you know what? You shouldn't do that's that. That's my other but job. I'm sorry. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't do that, Jason. But getting back to the, the, the hacker lack, um, uh, nice little phraseology, yeah. you know, the, the way you did it. Yeah. How did you, I mean, how did you come up with that? Well, and, and, and tell us your, your thoughts about um, Claudius. Uh, I and was, what he's doing um, as part of his talk I was discussing, talk show. discussing uh, uh, the, the pattern of the attack with a friend of mine who's in the media who keeps track of those things too. And that friend of mine is the one who came up with the word that became hakalak. But the version of the word that that friend used started with the K. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we know where you're coming <laughs> from. Blasha, good evening, Blasha. Thanks for calling. Yes, my take on that, when you're a boss, you do whatever you want to. I think um, there's some feedback. I, I think you are listening to us on. Please turn down yes, that. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay. I said when you're a boss, you do what you want. You party like you want to, you do what you want. So when... Oh. Oh, that's too bad. I'm not sure what point. happened there. Um, I suspect that your credit <laughs> oh, no, has finished. Um, or, or something. There has to be some reason. Um, please uh, give us a call back. We're kind of interested in hearing what you have to say. So, about the the pattern of attack about the word hack a lot. Yes. Yeah. So uh, because it started with the K, and I wanted to be able to use it in both blogs, where, including the one where I, I'm not. I kind of keep the profanity off so that the young people get attracted to it. Um, so instead, I took the word hack from the back of the word and I put it on the front and then we got hack a lot. Okay, VA4, um, thank you so much for calling. Good evening to you. Yeah, good night. Good night. How are you? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Mr. Jason. We say tell you something. Um, we have been following you on Facebook and it's nice to know that we have somebody who is exposing the truth to the solution public. Um, those for whatever you're doing and you see that first caller I suspect you truly hit something. I want him to call back. Yeah, I'm following, I'm following. Just, but, just but, but tell me, you, 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 you're sort of generalizing. And um, could you be a little more specific? What exactly, what about his writing that, that sort of interests you? What is it? What is he doing? The bullface style, man, and, and merging that with the Lucian slang, the Lucian... The bullface style merging that with Lucian slang. Yeah. What about the expletives he, he uses? He doesn't bother me because we all use it. We, oh, you all use it, so it's fine. It's, it's, it's just something that's done all over the place, so it's acceptable? Yeah, every writer is supposed to have his own style, so mm. that's easy. But there are a lot of people who actually... Um, don't like that aspect of his writing, what would you want to say to them? Tell them read more. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you are viewing Mr. Chairman. I'm David Samuels, and I'm here with vlog blogger uh, Jason Sifley. I, I, I find that your, your comments about Claudius is somewhat muted um, this evening. 
Um, I was somehow expecting a lot more from you. Um, I know that um, people are being sued all the over the center. place. Mm -hmm. um, would you be surprised, given all of what you have written on the Flog blog in recent weeks, um, would it be surprising if, if you find yourself on the wrong side of, of some of these guys? Oh my God, Dave. Why haven't they sued me yet? Why hasn't Claudius sued me yet? I mean, you have, you've read what I've written about Claudius on... I I've invented the word hackalack for Claudius. But he can't take you to court for that. I wish he... Like, but come on. hackalack is just I a, have provoked this man just a, just a ten phrase. times more than Tim Polio. It's just a, just a phrase. I have made innuendo and I have gone to the verge of slandering him with spurious rumors and... Why won't this man sue me? I want him to attack me, attack somebody his own size. What's your point here? Well, he's the one who said that he doesn't care. People are saying that he's, he's suing uh, people in wheelchairs and he's suing dwarfs and all kinds of that. He doesn't care. He'll go after you whether you're a dwarf or a giant. And I'm saying, I'm not a dwarf nor a giant. I'm his own size. I want him to come after me. So that's a challenge. I want him after me because I cannot stand to see the president of the Senate of St. Lucia behaving in this way, especially when he has imposed himself on the St. Lucian media as the... Here's the dangerous thing about the great Claudius Francis. Hold that thought. Vieux Good evening, Vieux How are you? Hi, hi. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. Mrs. Hitley, tell me something. When you, as a journalist, when you attack Claudius Francis and you, you want to bring I'm him down... I'm not attacking Claudius Francis, I'm on, defending my colleagues. Hold on, hold I'm on. defending them a, from a threat. You made a reference that on, like Timothy Polio. You see, now he's getting to what he wants to say. that is, is the thing journalism is all about? I think that's what activism is about. And you think that's something that you should be proud of? Definitely. Good Absolutely, to, to one hundred and ten percent. I don't think I don't think it has anything to do with journalism. I think that's everything I to do with journalism. If, if, if you report on issues, fine. If you report on on facts, fine. And a while ago, I mean, Dave asked you a question. You know, aren't you scared of being sued? Nobody sue people just so because sue, sue people if they. In San Lucia, uh, people are sue people just so, brother. What world are you living in? They just sue them just so. Can you I, can get can I for finish? The truth in Lucia. Can, can I finish? Let him finish. But like, can you're I just finish? talking magic. No, 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 let's come on. I'm not talking magic. I'm saying no, people just don't sue for let two let let People after. sue one if you defend their character. Two, if you say something that is strictly against the, what is factual and they can prove otherwise. That is why people sue people. The solution people was I mean, magic. No, no. It is magic, Most of the cases role. that are brought to court, most of the cases that are brought to court, you find them settling out of court very quickly because they know they're going to lose, or they apologize very quickly, like Timothy Paul, your, your colleague did, okay, because he knew he was wrong for saying something, for doing something that was totally, you know, wrong within his... St. Lucia has no work. free speech. The way the Jesus. laws are working, St. Lucia, we have no free speech. And I stand up against that. And I stand up for, against everyone who uses those laws to target journalists unfairly and to let their friends off the hook. So why don't you He's something new the hook. then? Mr. C. let me tell you something. I must stand up and defend. I must. I will in not case. stand back and let these politicians attack the media, the independent media, and set the standard of media as if hackalackery is what is going on now. Hackalackery okay, is not what's going on. Okay, you can keep using that moment as much as you want. It doesn't make you more of a man than you are tonight. What I'm telling you is, if you really want to oh, jump man, in a call, why don't you attempt changing the laws of the country? Oh, why yeah. don't you actually piggyback on that? What do you think is going on, bro? We're changing these laws. What do you think is going on? Why do you think I'm you doing think this? You think you're going to change the law by We are going to change. We're going to write our own laws. Politicians are not writing these laws. You see that broadcast act that they have? That's not passing. We're writing our own laws from now on. But look at you. Look at you. I mean, come on. Even Dave should be correcting you as the host. You're not making any sense. You, you don't think people should write their own laws? You think politicians should be allowed to do that after all these years of malfeasance? I'm not talking about politicians. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you. Right? Yes. But I'm, I'm saying, why don't you champion this whole thing by starting and getting involved by using the word "chakalak," "chakalak"? You really think that? 
that perpetuation of that word does anything to you and, you, and, and, and who you are in society, it mm -hmm. makes you look dumb. You're the one who said the K-word. Nobody has said the K-word here tonight until you. I said, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. That word you keep up. Yeah, but you don't know what you're talking about. It makes you look dumb on national television. It makes you look dumb over the world. That, you're not a You're journalist. the only one you're right now who has that opinion. You're simply a man who writes. And, and, Do you and, know the and number of people in South Russia right now who are shaking their heads at you? Caller, call I, like <laughs> I would like to interject, Ted. I'm sure there are some of his writings that you you approve of come on yes, there must be yes, yes, there must be yes, a couple of them yes, yes i'm telling you yes I, I i do a lot of reading i read his work and yes he's done a lot of good writing of late however sometimes in between he makes a fool of himself and i'm ashamed to associate myself with him as a conclusion at the moment okay because by going on because i don't fit your political affiliation that's why right his own Jason, just hold on a man let the guy Children speak you will react educated people are listening to this thing you it's cannot write your own laws take. you know that but so you have to be involved in a process that's what you've been told the laws of the country i can sit at my home and write a law of course of course Within so your gate, that's what i'm doing that nobody comes to your home at nine o'clock or you go to sleep at ten that is your law but you cannot make laws. No, we can you know sit at person. our home and write the law and then bring it to Parliament, brother. Okay. Oh, no, no. A while ago you said you can sit at home and write laws. That's fine. I'm saying yes, you can do that. But I'm explaining to you, as an educated person myself, that there is a process for that. You cannot just stay on national TV, oh, we're going to write our own laws. And, and, what? And do you think I'm just making that up? And use your official Do you think people haven't talked about this? People have discussed this already, brother. There have been meetings about this. You think that I'm just sitting here like spouting stuff and just making stuff up to impress people? Think that you're spouting a lot of things tonight. You have no idea what the facts are. are. Okay, caller, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Interesting caller from VH4. I will not just sit here and, and just spout Jason, facts. Jason, 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 let me control the program, please. I mean, I appreciate that sometimes Yeah, I have you're... a very low tolerance for magic. I'm sorry. I know, I know. Um, we, we do, well, I do have a... I, I do have you a have tolerance. You have much higher tolerance yes, for it? Yes, yeah. Years in the broadcasting industry has taught me that. That person and, and is uh, clearly just a partisan who feels bad about something I and they will be about their favorite... They will be partisans their favorite calling. Or Hi, VG. Good evening, VG. Thanks so much for calling. <laughs> good evening. Hi, good evening. I'm Jason. Hi, you doing? Good evening, Dave. Hi. <laughs> Jason, stop taking on these party hats and making you get hyper. Just relax. And I want to tell people, Timothy Polia did not re um, apologize on his own. Timothy Polia's boss is a party hack. If he didn't do that, he would be out without a job now to feed his family. And just relax yourself and don't let that party hack get you because that's what they're trying to do. You're doing a good job. Keep it up, Rasta. Respect. <laughs> Keep it up, Rasta. <laughs> I enjoy these people. That's what it, and you see the, the naysayers and, you know, the, 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 all the catamites of the party hacks, you know, those sub hacks. And the sub sub hacks. I love these people. I love when they talk magic. I love to take them on. I love to get them riled up. I like to get them to say more stupid things than they're already saying. Like that's a form of entertainment for me. I'm sorry. I I, I really enjoy them. Yeah. Well, I, I think I, I'm quite sure. I like Ma pushing them. I'm over quite the brink, sure you many know? <laughs> many of our viewers enjoy it as well. Union. Good evening, Union. Thanks. Hello. Hi. You're on the yeah. air. Yeah. Uh, uh, good night, Dave. Yes. Good night. I just want to make a little contribution, a little observation. Go right ahead. Um, let Mr. C. Flynn know that when a caller is making a point, you should let the caller finish. I, I just took him to task on that. Now, you know what's happening. The fishermen by the market do not behave like that. <laughs> and too many times we're watching the television and we turn it off. We don't want to watch that, David. We don't uh. have time for that, Dave. Okay? Yeah. You know, we want the, the island to go forward. There's too much of that, blah, 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 blah. And you're just spinning top in mud. So please let the caller make his point and then you respond. Yeah. Okay, my bro? I agree. I agree. Thank the you. Funny thing, and David, I did say that to you. The funny so, thing, David, yes. is that the people who make least sense are taking the longest time to make their no, point. But and I, I think we tolerate too much of that. Jason, so we have to Jason, stop these people, man. Jason, you have to understand, you know, that every production, every show has its guidelines and uh, so on. And you, you, you need to work out a compromise. No. You know, yes. <laughs> you need to work out a compromise. 
you know. I actually thought of bringing boxing gloves. In fact, um, I actually thought of bringing boxing gloves here this evening, you know. But I, I had problems accessing a pair. VA4 seems to be the spot tonight. A lot of callers from that side. Is it View4? Hello, good evening. Yes, good evening. Hi, where are you calling from? I'm calling from View4. Wow, so many calls from there tonight. That's interesting. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Good. Yes, um, I think that Jason Smith, I think I, I, I really don't know what is his problem. I think tonight he's going to give him the call as a chance to make the contribution. And another thing what I realized, um, he's saying that um, he's, um, he's a he's the motor slander call, he has done so many things. But I'm saying, as a journalist, if you call yourself a journalist, to be coming on air and doing what you're doing there. Like, honestly, then to me, that has taken your program to an all-time low. Um, <laughs> to me, Jason Seaver just doesn't fit right there. With all that, what he does, he's not like allowing the college to make a thing. To me, it, it's just, he damn it's just like a, 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 as a rule. Come on, Jason Seaver, you can do better than that. I'm so disappointed in you. I am so, so, so disappointed in you. For a man I used to love, Reading his book, I am so disappointed in him. I don't think you are seeing what is what we the viewers are, are watching. It, it, it's really bad. And uh, Mr. Chairman, you should take one of your programs. It is really, really bad. Thank you. Yeah. I. What can I say? I. I don't necessarily agree with you. Um, that. How many um, callers was that? Excuse that me. Happened with? Excuse me, Jason. Um, I'm, this is my program. I'm in charge. Um. I don't think he's brought the program to a low level. I, I don't share that opinion. Jason is a very unique person. Um, he's very talented. And clearly he will say things as do many of my guests. They say things that I may not agree with. In fact, I seldom agree with lots of the stuff my guests say. And um, some, of some, some viewers as well would not. But that's your right. But you see, in the whole context of freedom of expression, free speech, you know, um, I have issues with Jason, and he knows that. We have been at each other for many years. Even when I was at RSL, there are certain things. I, I've always had a problem trying to box him in. Jason is not an easy person to box in. So every time he comes here, similarly, Rick is the same way. You have to really be on your P's and Q's in dealing with these interviewees. But it's a challenge. But to say that he's brought the show down to a level is so awful. I, I don't necessarily agree with you. And Good evening. With one caller, Good evening. Dave. Thank you very much one for calling. Caller. Good Hi. evening. How are you, Dave? Not too bad at all. Thanks for calling. Okay. Hello, Jason. How are you? I doing? Okay. I just wanted to um, throw out tonight um, what happened um, recently in, um, in, in the Senate. Yes. Where I saw a presentation made by yes. the president of the Senate. And um, the presentation was where he presented a gift to um, the, the Minister of Health, the Ministry of Health. Um, and he said the gift is coming from him. It's a personal presentation to um, St. Lucia with, um, I think, to infrared, um, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Thermometers. Right. Mm. <laughs> and um, um, I have heard since then that they were given to him to present, you know, to um, the, the Ministry of Health on behalf of somebody else. You understand that it did not really come from himself. Now, I, I, I am hoping that this is just hesse. Because as president of the Senate, I cannot understand why the president of the Senate would want to present a gift as though it is coming from him when it actually came from somebody else. That is dishonesty and that is a level of deceit that I do not think the people of St. Lucia would accept under no circumstances. So I just want to hear, and I have not heard very much about it, and I, I do not think that maybe most people understand the, the, the magnitude of such a level of deceit, if that is actually so. So I just want to hear your views and Jason's views on that, <laughs> given that 
it, 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 this was done by somebody who finds fault with everybody on earth, and he is supposed to be this most perfect person. So I just, I just want to hear your views on that tonight. Thank you. Okay. Any matters arising out of that? Are you familiar with that particular situation? I'm familiar situation? with the thing. First of all, I want to say that uh, that uh, there's a little bit of uh, disingenuity in that call. That call is kind of disingenuous because the call is speaking as though like they don't really know the situation. What they want us to do is talk about the situation for their political benefit, and like I kind of resent that, right? I kind of resent that. Well, I don't know that this is the case. Yeah. Well. Um, but you're entitled to your opinion. But what do you know about this particular matter? Well, my opinion if, on that matter... Could you hold on? Hold on. Let's go to payroll. Payroll. The South. So many calls from the South. That's a very good sign. Good evening. Good evening. Your, um, your TV yes, is on. I really enjoy your program, but tonight... Your, no, your TV is on very loudly. Could you, could you turn really it down? I really enjoy your program, but tonight, honestly, there's no enjoyment. Because Why? Why is that? Why is that? Um, Jason is there like a, to me that's a madman, a madman you have only. Well, there are people who call him mad. There are people who call him crazy. Jason, you, when people call you that, um, I've always been the other. I don't mind. You don't mind it. The other, you know, the concept of the other, mm. where like you're not fitting in with all the things that are going on in normal. I've always been the other. I, I take pride in that. You take pride in that. Let's Have you noticed that a lot of the calls that are uh, following that pattern are coming from this, the tip, of the southern tip of the island? Castries, good evening, Castries. Thanks for calling. Good Hi, good evening. I must say, Jason is very amusing. I've enjoyed the show. I think this is the best show ever. <laughs> <laughs> you did a very good job. <laughs> that, is, that is what radio and TV is all about. You know, diverse... Yeah diverse views and opinions and that's basically what it's all about <laughs> we are laughing <laughs> we are fun <laughs> okay good night good night so you were saying before before our break uh wh what was the last question okay <laughs> let's go to a break you are viewing <laughs> mr chairman i'm david samuels and i'm here with flog blogger jason sifley and you're quite free to give us a call after our next break stay tuned Good evening and welcome back to our program. Welcome back to Mr. Chairman. I'm David Samuels and we understand there's a Castries caller. Good evening, Castries. How are you? Hi. Hi. I had to call again because I don't understand how people call in and talking a lot of BS. The lady called and she said that that Cicely is behaving like, you know, inappropriate on television. What's about our ministers when they go to the to the house and they behave inappropriately in the house and say things to one another? Uh, what is wrong with that? They said Tim cannot speak properly. His diction is br bad. His grammar is bad. Juba has a problem. Jason is a madman. And I can go on and on and on what they say about, um, about journalists and anything. Cheddar Jadia Jean-Pierre would write what she wants and say what she wants. They don't have a problem with that. My problem with St. Lucia, they're too hypocrites. Because the people will look up to go in the house and they say whatever they want. And tonight we cannot enjoy a television with Dave Samuel and Jason Sifley, our own journalists. <laughs> so tell that woman, hold all her hypocrisy to herself and let me enjoy the chairman show. Thank you. <laughs> Well, thanks very much for your, for your um, vote of approval. And it's inappropriate, eh? That's, that's the term, that's the word. Inappropriate and not inappropriate. Okay? Jason, um, going back to this thing. Um, the thermometers. Yeah. Your thoughts on it. Um, what, what do you think about Do you think it's much to do about nothing? I mean, a lot of people are reacting to it. I think that it's disingenuous to yes. Claim as a personal donation things that you did not buy with your own money. Mm -hmm. If uh, if I were donating 
uh, this pen to you, and it was donated. It was really donated by some charity abroad, and I cleared the customs fees and all of that, which they probably wouldn't because it's a charity donation. And I facilitated all. It's still not my donation. Yeah. Good evening, Castries. Oh, I think uh, we've lost Castries. Please call back. It's still not your. It donation. still wouldn't be my donation. It would be something that it's a whoever gave it is the donor. The person who paid for it is the donor. So what do you think was going on there? Well, I don't know what was going through the brother's mind. You know, what can I tell you? Like, uh, it, he seems like he's on some kind of trip nowadays. He's swing everybody black is white, and then... Hmm. Castries, good evening, Castries. Thanks for your patience. Hi, good evening. Hi. Dave. Good evening, Jason. How are you doing? Jason, I must say, I'm not sure what the show is all about. <laughs> Just tune in, but I must say you look good. <laughs> Th thanks. <laughs> you probably recognize the voice. Yeah, you yes, look well dressed. You look good. And those who notice you he has a tie. He has <laughs> yes. a tie, which is very unusual. <laughs> but those very who know unusual. You, no, you are, you are mad. But <laughs> you understand your madness. <laughs> you understand what you're trying to say. Oh. But when I say to you, my boy, when I say my boy, you probably know who's talking. I know my mother out there. That's one of my mothers. Okay, just talking. be cool. From what I've seen, yeah. just relax. Respect. And let your point get through. Don't let your emotions take over. Yeah. That's theater, you know that. Huh? You know that's theater, you know me. Did you mention my name? I say you know that's theater. That's okay. theater. All right, just be cool. Don't yeah. let your emotions <laughs> take over. Make your point, but don't let your emotions take over. And that's a very good point. Thank you very much, caller. Okay. And, and that's a very good point that that's this caller... That's drama, Dave. That's what the, the caller has struck... There's a struck, difference between drama and emotions. The caller has struck a chord there. And I think um, you would do, in my very humble opinion, mm. when you are on shows like this, um, give the person making contributions an opportunity to air their views, and then you rebut uh, and so on. When you do this, um, it just creates a lot of static, and, and the person obviously feels frustrated and and the back and forth, which is not always very good for television and radio. Good evening. Thank you so much. Hi, Miku good South. Evening, Mr. Chairman, and your guest. Good evening. How are you? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. I can tell that you have a very animated show tonight. And if anything at all, it has caused, caused the calls to come in in rapid succession. <laughs> uh, um, I want to latch on a, a few points that um, your, uh, your guest mm -hmm. um, made mention of. I think, and um, there's that misperception about um, freedom of expression. And we need to understand, and I want your guests to understand that. Take some time, even after the show, and think about it. Freedom of the press or freedom of speech does not give you, you know, an unfettered right to say anything in any manner about someone or about an entity, and that it does not go unchallenged. If someone from the media, and the media is known to be, okay, the entity that releases information that one can depend on, it should be factual, it, most of all, it should be balanced, and every effort should be made to discover the truth. Too often now we have people, you know, within the media, saying that they're the ones to get it first. But are they the ones to get it right? Yeah. And if you cannot get it right, then the person whom you have aggrieved, who feels aggrieved, have every right to use legal means for recourse. So the thing about once a journalist is, you know, taken to task or taken to court or sued and so on, that we think by, oh, generally should not be touched, generally should not be challenged, generally should not be brought to court. That is unacceptable. Mm -hmm. You have a right and responsibility to present and to present well, to present proper. If you know, and in some cases, some people are being malicious, you know, some people are being reckless for the same misunderstanding of what freedom of the press of freedoms guaranteed under our constitution means every man and woman in this land has the right to do so. <laughs> and just, I just want to say on your demeanor tonight, um, Mr. Sifley, 
perhaps you are not prepared to deal with the calls, the callers, and so on, um, the way you handled yourself for the time I have been watching the show. And I believe, Mr. Chairman, um, you have done very well in bringing this under control. Perhaps if you had that little, you know, the little hammer thing, I'm afraid you would have... <laughs> the gavel, the gavel. Exactly. Give <laughs> a little tap with it to say, look, Jason. Yeah, you know? but that's I a good idea. Call, Use the gavel. Me said, <laughs> you need to have the presence of mind about what it is you're there for. You know, uh, people are watching and, and uh, you know, that sort of thing. And to maintain that kind of, you know, decorum, that kind of, you know, mannerism that is expected of someone presenting, you know, on television. We have viewed Dion St. Lucia. More importantly, we have viewed throughout St. Lucia. And it is not the kind of thing for someone who pre who's presenting call. themselves, especially as the someone from the media, okay? It has brought it down a couple notches, okay. I must say. It has brought it down a couple notches. But Mr. Chairman, you have done well. You have made every effort to keep it, <laughs> you know, as what the chairman show is, 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 is supposed to be. Thank you very Thank much. You. Um, before, before you respond, and I'll, I'll let you respond, I, I want to agree with um, quite a few things, but, but one in particular, that there is a tendency in the media to get it first and not necessarily getting it right. And that has always been Can my, my bone of contention with a lot of media operatives in St. Lucia. Getting it right, not necessarily getting it first. The very legal <coughs> climate that we operate in creates these problems. If we expanded free speech in St. Lucia, you would not have these problems anymore because reporters would have access to the information they want. So you're now, saying the reporters don't have the access? We have to do all kinds of gymnastics to get information that should be our right. Yeah. Right? So that that's how so these you talk, things you talk, are You're talking about the political director. It's very it's difficult to get access to them. To information that should be public. Yeah. Just ordinary stats sometimes mm. it's impossible to mm. get this information. So, the, so you are frustrated about that. And so many, this, many of the media... So we're racing each other. Me and Miguel are racing each other on some story. And we're both trying to get information that should just drop out of a fax machine. Right? Or from an email or something. And people are frustrating our efforts. And we have to do all kinds of things to get at this information. You understand? The very legal climate where we do not have free speech and free information in St. Lucia creates these problems. So it is disingenuous and hypocritical for that last caller to talk about limiting free speech and the problems in the media when in fact there should be no discussion of limiting free speech in a post-colonial society. Freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and freedom of information have to be expanded on all counts on all fronts before we begin even discussing that hypocrisy. You know what is very um, interesting for me personally? This is the 21st century mm. and we have seen what has happened to media in this current environment, social media. And it seems to me that we are going back rather than going forward and I, I don't I don't quite understand that that's the you would think you would think that the media would be more enlightened and there'll be a lot more information flowing left Especially right and we have center a private media it's not you like know? Barbados where there are no private TV stations yeah. we have a private media yeah but this thing has been infiltrated by the hat I feel your pain right? I feel your pain and that's Cass why Cass I cannot allow people like that to talk Cass sometimes Cass good evening thank you no <laughs> no no you will let them talk you will let you them will talk. let them talk yes but I'm it's not letting them talk it's yes, my how are you doing program. sir good evening. Good, evening. Hey, Jim, hello. <laughs> good evening yeah, good evening well, Dave, wow, I, I mean, I'm enjoying this comedy show at my home, wow. It is comedy tonight, thanks. Well, thank you very much. Um, I didn't realize that I was a comedian. Um, are you a comedian? Well, I, I, mean, she, I like she, the comedy campaign I'm not sure, of that. that, uh, that I'm that not sure if that was supposed to be... Uh, a positive comment, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. The, the hacks are changing tact with their phone campaign. Oh, they decided I'm not high anymore, now I'm a comedy show, and they've, they've shifted the calls from View 4 to Castries. Castries, yeah. good evening, Castries. <laughs> Thanks for your call. Hi, good evening, how are you? Not too bad at all. Okay, um, just a quick... You want to um, talk to the comedians, I guess? Well, I'm not sure about comedians. There's nothing um, about comedy about what is going on. It's quite serious. 
Um, I am quite appalled at the behavior of some of our journalists. Jason, I know you, I know you personally, and I am appalled at your behavior and how you speak. And sometimes, you know, it, it takes me aback and it makes me wonder, is Jason okay? Are you all right? Are you fine? Um, the chairman, I, I am quite, as I said, I'm quite appalled. And there is something that is troubling me with the unhealthy obsession that your guest seems to have with the press secretary to the Prime Minister, J.J. Shapir. It is quite disturbing that on social media you would take a photo, every photo that this lady posts on her, not every, but almost every, well, it happens often enough that you take her photo, you add your little words, and you do your comedy with it, and you think that it's cool. That is freedom of, of the press? Is that okay? Is that fine? I need to hear, where is your, um, the president of the media association when all of these things happen? You don't do that. You have kids. Do you expect this thing? Do you want somebody to do that to your kids? You have kids. You are supposed to be responsible. In as much as we talk about freedom of the press, the press needs to be responsible in everything that they do. Every story that they research, everything that they do, they need to be responsible. Now, the, the thing about you and speaking about the President of the Senate, the President of the Senate, Mr. Claudius Francis, Mr. Claudius Francis received two infrared thermometers. There was an email, right? An email which was sent by Mr. Ishmael, and the email was read on Mr. Claudius' issue. Mr. Claudius addressed the issue of the thermometers on social media, and he addressed it on his past show last week, Friday, on his show straight up. The email which sent, Mr. Dennis sent, the latest email that he sent, and I have a copy of the email, and it also says that Mr. Dennis is quite disappointed in the way that this thing has been dragging around. But let me read the last part of the email to you. I have attempted to assist, and I quote, sorry, I, at I have email. attempted to assist my country. Claudius has been the most reliable in getting things done. He does not deserve what you are suggesting. He did facilitate the thermometers. Thank you very much. That's my contribution. Okay, thank you very much. He facilitated the thermometers, but he claimed that they were his donation. So it was after the fact. So he went on social I'm saying those are two different things. Facilitating <clears throat> and donating are two different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it does you. not seem to me that anybody is saying that he's the donor, even when they come and read the emails with their special access to the, sp the Senate president calling up as if they are ordinary public citizens, mm -hmm. right? It is clear from what she said that he facilitated it. He did not donate it, but he claimed to donate it. Now, the, an earlier thing that they, were, that they were bringing up, I need to address this. This is about my authenticity. Everyone expects I need to address this, Dave. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let's take that call. Hi, good evening, caller. Hi, good evening. Do not allow the SLB hacks to control the media. This is what they need, this is what they want, and this is what they're fighting for. To control the media, to manipulate the country, and this is it. Okay, so... Okay, there's, there's a thing about um, the behavior tonight and cutting off the callers and, and stuff like that. And like, this is not appropriate for journalists and the media and stuff like that. And, you know, when I look at the Caribbean media, the Caribbean media in general, all these nice stiff people with these, uh, they have these kind of generic Caribbean American accents and they look at the cameras like this. And when you know those people in real life, they're not like that. They're, that's fake. And I'm not trying to be fake with my audience. I'm trying to be real. And like, you get me with all my flaws and everything. And when you talk a bunch of magic, I might interrupt you because the truth is, these calls come one after the other. And people can just gang up, like the, like the few four people were doing a while ago, and make one call come after the other with accusations, with me getting no chance to respond. I will respond to magic while it is being spoken. Good evening, Castries. Thank you for calling. 
Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Good evening. I am um, looking at the program, and I must say that it is really, really unhealthy. I mean, Jason, okay, granted he has flaws, but his behavior tonight is really uncalled for. When you are on national television, people are calling in, you will never be able to please everybody. Everybody will not agree with you, and everybody will not disagree with you. But at the end of the day, you have to be the bigger person. There must be humility. In you as a person, where is the level of humility? Where is the level of respect? You don't just pick up any and everything people say and make yourself as if, well, you know, that is it. You're going to, you're going to defend and you're going to this and you go. No, that is not it. You make your point. You make sure that your point is, is, has got through. But you must have a level of humility. I mean, I expected better. Oh, Jason, I know you personally him better than that. That behavior on national TV tells a lot of him. People now look at him as, come on. Okay, Carla. Okay. I, Thanks. I Thank you that, very much. I take that point, but I will not back down of my Thank authenticity and let some party hacks come and just... I want them to talk more. You Remember, you cut off that guy, right? You cut off that guy. I wanted that guy to talk more. I wanted him to talk more, Dave. I well, want more of it. But it was. You understand? But I. And now it is my there's this thing as though like I understand it's that, and this is why I back down off of it. Right. But um, I cannot authentically allow people to have their campaigns of magic at my expense. Okay. Let's go to Summersdale. Good evening, Summersdale. Summersdale. Hey guys. Hey guys. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just I just want to offer a different perspective tonight. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I mean, um, what has been the status quo on our island is um, we have people in authority, people in power, they do as they like. Um, uh, with the people, we, we grumble, we complain, uh, nothing happens, right? So along came the flood blog, right, which, which, which questioned the authority that was, you, you know, being brought up on us. And um, we got confused. Because you have the hacks, the, the, the labor and non trouble hacks. And they have this love-hate relationship with, with Jason. Because, you know, they love him when he's, he's criticizing the other party. And then they hate him when he's speaking about their own party. And, and that is not what we, we, seek, we seek to aim for in a democracy. The, the, the media is there for a reason. I mean, if, if, he's saying that, if he's saying something that is disingenuous, it is incorrect, it is not... You know, it is not correct. Then you challenge what he's saying. You prove to him that he, that what he's saying is, is not factual. But you don't you don't attack his character. I mean, tonight it's all about you know it's not about the message, but it's all about the, 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 the messenger. Person. Yeah. You know, it's all about it's all about the Jason the man. But it's, why 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 aren't we focusing on the things that he has brought to life? Yeah. You know, we're not focusing on that. Yeah. It's all about the messenger. Okay. Why aren't we taking action? You, you understand? Yeah. That's, that's Good, my point. That. Good point. Good yeah. point. I want to talk about, um, you said somewhere that there's a hit on you. Mm -hmm. Could you elaborate? And why, why do you think so? It's funny. Like last year, October, around the same time, uh, a friend of mine who's in that underworld came to me and told me that he didn't want to see me in certain places because if certain people saw him seeing me, then it would look bad for him because he's supposed to he's supposed to take care of me and then he's supposed to take care of you in yeah, other words, yeah and his boy like so like he, i have to be in a place where he didn't see me so st lucia has got to that stage is that Saint for Lucia's real been that stage is that for a long real? time brother are you kidding me Oli Gobat got burned and and let's make this our final call so it gives um jason sufficient time to respond and to to sort of wrap up sufra good evening sufra yes good evening gentlemen good evening um, I've been listening here for a while. You've been viewing? Uh, yeah, I've been viewing for a while. Mm. And I keep on hearing people calling and, and regarding this young man as a madman. But think of it. 
Let's go back a couple years. Let's go back in the time of Einstein. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people thought Einstein was a might of Hadman as well. <laughs> but his research was very significant for, it, for us right now. So, can, so just, can I call it Einstein? I, I, mean, I would love that. All man. of these talk shows, people call and, 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 you know, they want to talk political, red and yellow. And one individual has come, come there and laid down information where, you know, you're supposed to go and, and discuss this information. We try, like the last caller said, we try to mash up the character of the individual who's, who's, who's bringing, bringing up this information to light. Yeah. And I think that's one thing we St. Lucian should stop doing. You know, yeah. the politicians are there for a reason. And it's their job. Every couple of years, they come out, they come on the platform, they come and bash, it, bash, bash each, each other. And then the red party hacks will tell you this, and the yellow party hacks will tell you that. You know, but concrete stuff that will make us move forward. We don't sit down and talk about it. We have, we have no constructive talk amongst ourselves in St. Lucia. And I think we need more individuals like this young man right there who will come out and express himself. Top moon got created by the magic. No, check it. You got by the magic. Fire burn. But, but anyway, <laughs> that's you. not what I wanted to say, but... Thank you. <laughs> enjoy the rest of the night. <laughs> Respect, my Thank guess. you very much. But the caller, the caller is right. And, um, but that, that is a St. Lucian thing I have discovered. We want to attack the messenger. We're not dealing with the message, you know. I don't mind. It's the that's messenger. When, when they reach there, that's and that is that why that's they have left. when the first caller, and this is the second time he has done that, mm. as soon as he comes, he's on the attack, like some kind of attack dog. And I'm not, I, I, I feel very uncomfortable, you know. And this, this should not be allowed, not in my time. Anybody else, fine, but not on my time. So, so you're... Right, there's so a I told, hit on you. I told you about the one last year. Then this year, there's another guy who comes to me and he tells me uh, that he didn't tell me there was a hit. He told me that it was being discussed, and there was some disagreement because some of the stuff I wrote recently uh, was getting too close to to home. Yeah, mm. where I uncovered another blogger who almost got killed, who had a hit out. There was a hit out on that blogger, a blogger from Sufre, who had to leave the island. And is still in hiding now. Um, and then, what was it? It was like a week, maybe 10 days later, when uh, some friends of mine in security, uh, in the security industry kind of, confirmed that that, uh, that was real. Closing thoughts very quickly. Time has run out. We tolerate too much magic in St. Lucia. Like, we, we tolerate way too much magic in St. Lucia, and we're, and we're nice to it, and we want to respect it and, like, and play along. And it, it cannot work that way. You cannot negotiate with magic. You understand? You cannot play nice with it until it behaves itself. You can't. Who do you blame most for that? The politicians? It's us, the people. It's cowardice. It's like Franz Fanon said. You cannot oppress people without their permission. Right? The, the oppressed have to agree to be oppressed. Yeah. Right? There comes a point at which like, you have to change your own mind. You have to say what you want. Right? Like, you have to do what it is you mean to do. Yeah. And stop taking magic from people. Well, thank you very much, Jason. Another um, great show. Um, um, you, you're always welcome here. I want to assure you of that. You're always welcome here. And I hope that um, we will do more of this um, early in the new year. But should something big come up, <laughs> I will just ensure that you're back here, you know, despite what some people have said. It's, it's always nice to Don't worry, they'll be watching. You the same, in, ones, the same ones who made the complaints, so we gotta go. they'll be watching. Thank you very much, viewers. <laughs> um, I, I'm really impressed with the number of calls we received this evening. I hope that um, some people said that some people seemed very upset. Others thought we were comedians. And, um, but I, I hope you've learned a thing or two on this evening's program. Until next week, Thursday, the first Thursday of the month of November, this is David Samuel speaking. This meeting is adjourned.